my friend today we are talking about praying to god when we are praying to god i used to think you have to kneel down to beg somebody to get some things from heaven and without knowing who that was praying to god i used to be needed somebody else to pray for me no i am this i'm your preacher i preach by faith and by my knowledge and also we share our experience and faith comes from the hearing and hearing comes from preaching the word of god here the word of god you're talking about is the word coming from you because you you are god your mind and your imagination it's your god because your mind it's your god you can't see it no one can see we talk that is prayer is to communicate praying to god today you got to know is communicating to your mind talk to your god it's within you not outside talk to god it's in you because god lives you in you god never leave a humanity every child born of a womb of woman born with holy spirit which is god live with them and god is good to be with you until the end of your day you don't know that is the secret the secret of our father is you don't know when is good to leave you it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter what you have done it doesn't matter what you are going to do if he goes your time is up no choice no nothing you are gone and that we don't even talk about it because we are god living we are god in every day everything now from today you want to do to be to have you have to come through your mind everything worthwhile have been created by a human being it came from his mind you hear many example people who see the dreams talk to their dreams and when they tell people and everybody he disown them everybody say no you can't do that but they did that because they see the dream they see the vision in their mind and you and other one not see them see they see it and they bring other mind until they bring it in the story everything's worth while have been invented by those inventors they are seeing their mind other people didn't see it they even try to discourage them they even try to fight them they try to put them down but they end up doing it because they have seen it everything's what were been created with a mind of men have been challenged everything you do to your mind has been challenged even me to come here to share to record this to share this thing to tell you no you you are god i saw it in my mind i learned from never god that i feel it it take long time and when i tell you everybody say i don't want to hear this pa- person telling me this everybody just shut you down that is how it is everybody everything has been challenged every mind had to be challenged and that is how the world is how it is how our mind work together but what vision and men have seen it no one take away from it because it's god that is why god give each of us a unique life i am dizzy no other than dizzy you are who are you no other one like you and you are the most important person in each person you are you are most important for what you have that you have to have to have that faith that's what i learn how important i am and each of us and you respect everyone you respect every person in their mind regardless where you're coming from the color the everything they you go to ignore people who try to put you down don't worry about them that what they are thinking but if you feel yourself you are worthwhile if you feel yourself you are important like anyone else that what is matter and your god in you is good to talk to you is good to give you that power god 
is with you always. Praying to God is to communicate with him. Today, you don't need to kneel down. You don't need to go somewhere. You don't need to have a position praying to show you are praying to God. No, that is not things to do with God. That is practice somebody has teach. That is practice somebody has taught that it was the best way, but nothing to do with your God because your God is within your mind. Everywhere you are, everywhere you go, you go with him. You can pray with him everywhere you are. I'm talking to you. We are talking to us. Our God is talking to us every day. And that's why always you have to have faith in him. And always you have faith. Some things you have ever seen. People, they having faith, they think God is in heaven because they have never seen it. But they have faith, it. they believe it. If you tell them everything, anything else, they will not go to agree it because they have that faith in it. To change is hard. Even me, I change what I was taught before. Well, was praying to God. But I used to have those positions to be thinking, oh God, I'm going to do an exam. God, help me thinking that you for God to communicate the God within you, which is going to help you, what you are going to do. Talk to him. He's going to guide you what you are going to do, what you are going to read. This morning I have to talk to him before I come to preach for praying to God, to share with you everything that is how work, everything you do, whatever you go to start, you are going to do your job, you are going to visit somebody, you are going anything you are going to do, Straight away comes to your mind first, and then you do it. Something comes to your mind, always you don't do it, because also there's other gods around you, which they go to distract you, which they go to tell you what to do. Or maybe what you're feeling is not important, that what other minds of people telling you, what other mind God. The mind who have been successful, they become powerful, they become selfish, they become anything else they don't because they are working with their God. They are working with their mind. That is a successful mind. A successful mind has seen a vision. It doesn't sleep until that vision is out, come outside. Everything worthwhile, you hear the story every time, every time you go to repeating, talking the same things. Because when you repeat, this is how we understand it. Because you can read a book five, ten times, or can listen a podcast five, ten times, but the message, to get the message, you may get the message after you read it maybe seven times or six times or ten times. See, because the mind has a lot of other challenge. Because at places you know there's a gift for you, you don't see it. You go there ten times, something's there for you, but you don't see it. Because everything comes to the mind, and then your mind is going to click, oh, is there? You can look something somewhere in the house, you can't sit and you pass it, you keep going, you come there, you can't, and you sit on it, you can't sit, and then, mm, mind tell, oh, look there. And then you found it straight away. That is the power of mind. That is the power of our God. And today, if you go to know, to pay attention, to communicate with him, to talk to him, to do, and to be, and to have what you desire, it's how it's going to work. And you go to realize, Everything you feel you are missing. Or you say, I'm happy, unhappy. It's been you. Look yourself what you are talking to yourself. Why you are saying that? Look yourself and talk to him. Ask him why I'm not happy. Why I wake up, I feel not good. Why do I need to do this? I was supposed to go for work, but I can't go for work. He asks you why. He's going to pay, tell you, pay the money to go to the gym. And then the next day, few days, three days, you don't want to go there. It's not because you have, you have time. You have time to go there, but you can't, oh, I'm tired. Talk to him, or do I need to go to the gym, or do I need to do something there? This is the experience you are learning. This is what I'm sharing by experience, no any other things there. A person who created the school, they never went to school before. They created school, and that is the most things ever human has done it. But there are people who doesn't feel to go to school is so important. And they live life. They feel it's not important thinking that. But the life has to be moved on. But somebody who try who created never 
The person who created PhD, he didn't have it. See? You do it, you see it in your mind, and then you create it, and then somebody other mind is going to get it, is going to learn how to do it, and then it's going to make maybe developing there, you make much, much, much better. But the first comes in the mind. See? That is how you come. You, today you're not going to know, you're not going to play thinking you're begging. God is the God who put us on this earth to have a life. Sometimes life will become hard, but it's still life. Even his life is still his life. Any life is life. Your story is your story. A good or bad story is your story because everything pays somebody else. Yes. Every bad habit pays somebody's wages or pays somebody's service. And that is how we interconnected. That is how to feel, to be weak. Each of us, we are weak. And the only person who's going to save us, it's our person in our mind. It's our God. Because we get weak what is around us, what is seen in the society, what is out there. You have been weak to see, I want to do that. I want to have hmm, alcohol. I want to smoke weed. I want to do thinking there. I want to, all those is power of a person. is in mind fighting outside. The outside there are a lot of us there. And all we see outside, it was created by a mind of man. Everything created by a mind of man. Everything. See? Now, you need it. You need to wear it. You need to buy it. You need to wear us. Why do I wear a tie? Why do I suspend us? Somebody made it. Somebody made it. It's the mind of God made it. See? That's why sometimes uh, when uh, I, uh, I challenge my friends talking about as Africans, why do we still have our, our colonial names or Christian names or Muslim names? Because they bring their religions to us. They bring all they are culture to us. Now, also we have to think about it, to change it, because before the colonial came, our ancestors were there, were loving life with their own condition. They are naming their children the name, the way according to tradition and their culture. But they came, they, they changed it. Now, because we were this, it's working with other mind. You are aware it because is a transaction other mind need to have the money, whatever they need to do that. Also to feel your desire. People, we are get consumed from the outside one. But somebody who's going to help you, it's who? It's your mind. Who's telling you to buy it? It's your mind. See? What you got to wear? You buy things you can't wear in the same times. Each things you have to take one by one. You can't wear five shirts at the same time. So you have to wear one, but you could have 10 or 20 because your mind has tell you to do that. But your mind could tell you, okay, no, you don't need that, just leave it. Or you leave it that, that is there. That is the power of mind. That is praying to God. Like the advice they give you always, I go for walk. So when you do your daily walk, I do it every day. I communicate to my God. I communicate to my mind. I know I have a problem. I have issues. I talk to him. I talk to him. You disagree, you disagree, and later you go to found solution. Every answer of your problem is within you because it's in your mind. Your God is the most the powerful person. You have to talk to before you go outside. He's got to keep secret. He's got to keep your secret for you. Anything you say outside from him is no longer secret anymore. The secret is what you keep with your God. Your God knows you what you have there. You don't need a needle man to pray for you. You can pray wherever you are. Everything's yours. Guys, thank you and continue to support me and subscribe to N Lubasha for my YouTube to continue to, to share. And always, if you have my message, 
and I touch you, you feel change in you, you just let's chat SMS to me and uh, we keep supporting each other and motivating and inspiration. Have a nice day.